Thanks for everyone coming on to come and have a bit of a crack today. So at any point team, the whole way this workout is built out is you can push yourself as much as you want, or if you need to scale it back, absolutely do so. Michael, I love the new setup. Looks great, long time no see. So for our warm up team, we've got three movements that we're gonna work through. We're gonna go through it twice, 30 seconds of each. Uh, you can uh, speed up, slow down as you need to. Here we go, we've got Baz and Billy in, fantastic. All right, so to start off team, you need if you need a mat or something to go underneath your knees, um, depending on what flooring you've got, absolutely grab that. Make sure you've got your water bottle, you've got your sweat towel, you've got access to all your equipment in and around. So our three warm-up movements. We have what is called our T-hips. So we have our cat camels. Then we're going to go into what's called our T-hips. And then we're going to hit just some standard air squats. So for our warm-up, our cat camels are, you're going to come down on all fours. We're going to arch our back up like a cat. Then we're going to exhale, bum goes back, hip goes up making sure our shoulders are over our wrists and our hips are over our knees. Then exercise two, we're gonna pop one foot forward into that 90, uh, 90, 90 position. If you need something underneath your knees, do so. Then we're gonna have both hands on the ground and we're gonna bring our elbow down, get the stretch on the back leg, and then we're gonna rotate up to the sky. So let me shift, both hands are gonna be in the middle, elbow comes down, then we rotate up to the sky. I will tell you when to change legs and then follow through on the same side. Only go to that three, three and a half out of five, don't push it too hard. Then finally, we're gonna jump straight on up and it's just air squat, straight down, straight up. No tempo, no pause, all right? Team, thumbs up if that all makes sense. Very good, I'll give you 30 seconds, clear your stuff out of the way, just gonna let a few people in to the session very good all right jump on up let's come find our spots team let's do this let's get into our warm-up we're going to start with our cat camel on all fours for me let's get amongst it in five come on down to the floor 30 seconds of each in three two and let's go arching out back up like a cat inhale exhale it goes up bum goes up link that in with your own breath Really push those shoulder blades away. Get that stretch in the lower back and through the hips. That's it, head falling in with your breath. We're gonna go into our T hips in five, three, two, and bring that left foot and right foot to your right hand. Get that stretch, both hands on the inside, elbow down, rotate to the sky. Nice and gentle, please don't fling, especially if this is a new movement for you. You're gonna get a stretch on the back leg. You're gonna get some opening up through the upper back and the hips. Three, two, and change legs. Pop one leg back, pop the other forward, get the stretch first, then bring the elbow down. That's it, we're just gonna get that stretch through the back of the leg. We're not racing towards the floor. Link your breathing up, breathing in as you come down. Exhale as we go up. Three, two, and jumping on up, jumping on up. Just straight squats, straight up, straight down. Pushing through both feet evenly. Get that glute squeeze. Push those hips underneath. Try to squeeze a five set piece with our butt. Another 10 seconds, and we're gonna go back to our cat camels. We're gonna do this whole sequence twice. That's it, team, in three, two, and come on down to the floor. Back onto all fours again for me. Arching your back up like a cat, keep that stretch. Exhale, relax, good. I hope everyone's having an amazing weekend. You're all gonna get out and have your little picnics and organizing with friends, which is exciting. In three, two, and T hips. Pick whichever leg to come forward, get that stretch first, then bring the elbow down. Inhale, exhale, rotate. 
That's it. Put your hand strongly to the ground as you point towards the sky. That's it, team. Breathe. And change legs. Tuck the pelvis first. That's it. Get that forward lean. Elbow down. Up and rotate. Keep going with your T hips. Got a couple of late comers coming on in. That's it. Coming on down to that floor. Elbow up and rotate. Breathe. Just popping ourselves on mute in three, two, and jump on up. Let's hit those air squats. Straight down, straight up. Feet just outside of shoulder width. Pushing through both evenly. Get those hips in underneath. Dip, pop, dip, pop. As your body gets warmer, as that heart rate goes up, we go up a little bit quicker, a little bit deeper. Get that glute squeeze. Pushing through the floor with your feet. Glutes, squeezing that bicep, coin in between your butt cheeks. In three, two, and rest, 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 rest. Shake those legs out. High fives, fist pumps, grab some water, shake it on out. And then having a look back at the screen, I'm gonna go through the first block with a few variations, and then I'll give you all some time to grab your weights and set up from there, okay? So block one, we have four rounds here. We have three exercises. It is 30 seconds worth of max repetitions whatever you can do in that time. So if you need the rest, you take it. Otherwise, aiming to be unbroken the whole way through, okay? So we have reverse lunges, we have hamstring walkouts, and we have glute bridges. So with our reverse lunges, we wanna stand with our feet together, in line with our hips. If we're going to weight this movement, you can. You can have dumbbells in your hands or up into the goblet position. We're going to step back with one foot. We're going to be dropping the back knee, pushing through the front foot, coming together, alternating each side. If you're going to keep your body weight, that is fine. You're just going to use your arms like running man. Or if you want to weight up, holding onto the weight at the front or two dumbbells to the side, same deal. Alternating with each foot straight down, straight up. Please only lightly touch your knee to the floor. If you can get that far, if not, there is absolutely no need. Then exercise two, hamstring walkouts. Lock our knees back, come down to the floor, walking those hands out into a push-up position. And then you're gonna send your bum back to the ceiling, heels towards the floor, coming back as close as you can to your toes. If you can't touch your toes, that's okay. And you can only come to here, that is okay. Walking it back on out. Then, if you want to make it a bit harder, you can walk the hamstring out, come into that push-up, then walk it back out. All right, that is exercise two. There is no need for the push-up, but if you want to take it further, absolutely can. Then finally, exercise three. We have glute bridges. Come down to the floor, elbows into the side, heels on the floor, toes up. Chin to chest, squeeze your glutes, straight up, straight down. Straight up, straight down. You want to squeeze both butt cheeks at the top. And if you want to make it a bit harder, pop some weight on your hips or put your feet up onto the couch and do the same thing. Otherwise, you can keep it straight on the floor. All right, so we have 30 seconds of our reverse lunges as much as you can into 30 seconds of the hamstring walkouts, into 30 seconds of the glute bridges. Then we have a 30 second rest. All right, then we're going to repeat that four times. All right. Thumbs up team, if that all makes sense. Very good, I'll give you 40 seconds. Pick and choose your weights if you're going to use them or clear your space. We're all gonna start with our reverse lunges together. Grab your equipment, grab whatever you need, jump it on up. Let's do this team in 20 seconds. We're gonna get amongst it. Remember with your reverse lunges, keep your feet some space. We don't wanna have them stuck together. Train tracks over balance beams. All right, team, everybody jumping on up. If you need to hold on to something for stability, absolutely do so. Doing what we can in three, in two, and let's go, team, let's go, let's go. Reverse lunges, pushing through that front foot. Front leg does the work, squeeze the booty. Have that slight forward lean. 
This is max repetitions, 10, that's 15 seconds, as many as you can during this time. Michael, breathe and brace with those weights. Take your time. Abs tight. Front foot does the work. Breathe in as you come down. Breathe out as you come up. Going into our hamstrings in three, two, and great wrap. Let's go straight into those hamstring walkouts. Walk your hands down to the floor. Add the push up if you wish. Hips back to the sky. Get that stretch. Walking out with those fingers. Stay down along the floor. Push up position. Hips back to the ceiling. That's it, team. Another 10 seconds. Breathe. Breathe in three, two, and drop to your knees. Come on down to the floor. Let's go. Glute bridges on the deck. Hips to the sky. Flex. Squeeze. Squeeze. Hips to the ceiling. Elbows into the floor, chin to chest. Get that butt as high as you can, all the weight up onto your shoulders. 10 more seconds. Glute squeeze. Three, two, and rest, 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 rest. 30 seconds. Jump on up, grab some water if you need, wiggle on out. If you're going to wake your movements up, absolutely go for it. Grab some, otherwise just take a rest. 15 seconds and we go back to our reverse lunges. You can choose which weights you want to use. Remember with your reverse lunges, front foot, we must have full contact, big toe, little toe, heel, get that squeeze. All right, team, let's do this in five. Jumping on up, coming back to the top for our reverse lunges in three, two, and let's go, let's go. That's it, alternating. Light touch of the back knee on the ground. Squeeze the booty, abs stay tight. Upper body has a slight forward lean. Doing what we can, team. That's it, halfway. Breathe, breathe. That's it. Force that oxygen in. Going into our hamstring walkouts in five, three, two, and let's go. Pop the weights down, hands to the floor, walking it out. Along the floor in that push-up position, hips then back to the ceiling, walk back with the hands. Add the push-up, if you're gonna make it that little bit harder, for those that wanna challenge themselves, walking those hands back out toward the toes. That's it, team, another 10 seconds before our glute bridges. Breathe, one repetition at a time, in three, two, and flip it on over, glute bridges on the floor, come on down. That's it, breathing out as you send your hips up to the ceiling, chin to chest, lift those toes up if you can, squeeze those glutes. That's it, take come on. We're getting to halfway through this first block. Hitting this Saturday with a bang, breathe. Make sure both legs are pushing evenly. Three, two, and drop. Rest, 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 rest. 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Jumping on up. Deep belly breaths in. Shake those legs out. High fives, high fives. You're doing well, team. Stay with me. 15 seconds. We go back to our reverse lunges. Try not to sit down. Try and walk around. Shake your legs out. All right, team. Let's do this. Coming on back. Grab your weights in five. If you're gonna use them or just body weight in three, two, and let's go, let's go. Reverse lunge. Pushing through that front foot. That's it, get that booty pop, get that squeeze. Breathe out as you come on up. Use the force of your air, your oxygen, to help you come back to standing. That's it, team. 10 more seconds. In three, two, and let's go. Hamstring walkouts. Hands down to the floor, walking it all the way to that push up position. Then lead with your butt back to the roof, heels to the floor. That's it. Get that hammy stretch. Activate through those shoulders. 
Come all the way down to you're in a push up position and walk those hands on back. 10 seconds. That's it, team. In five, try and get one more rep out. Three, two, and drop to your knees. Glute bridges, roll them on over. That's it, Oscar. Come on, Tanika. That's it, Jack. Nice work, Billy. Get that flex to squeeze. That's it, Bass. Come on. Go for it, Alex. Get a nice rest after this team. Five more seconds. Hips to the ceiling. Get those glute squeezes. Three, two, and drop. Rest, 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 rest. 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Grab some water. We've got one more here, team. We've got one more. That's it. At any point, if you've got questions, please use the group chat. Go for it. All sorted, Michael. That's it, suck that air in. We've got one more through of this. Back to our reverse lunges in 10 seconds. Push that oxygen in. Let's do this team in five. Last time through, set your feet, grab your weights. If you're gonna use them, chest up. Three, two, and let's go, let's go, let's go. That's it, reverse lunges, stepping back, one foot at a time. You can have arms out in front for balance, across your chest, whatever you need, team, whatever you need. That's it, breathe. One repetition at a time. You've got this, come on. In five, go on to our hamstring walkouts. Three, two, and drop. Hands along the floor. That's it, walking it right on out into that push up position, hips back to the ceiling. That's it, don't count the reps, team. We're just going to make them count. Work through the movements. Only push yourself as hard as you want to. However, Coach Jack, Bastion, Alex, and Michael put their weights on those bars in three, two, and let's go. Glute bridges. Last lot, coming on down, elbows to the floor, straight, straight into setting those hips up. Even Siri has an opinion this morning. Get that second squeeze at the top, really activate, connect with those glute muscles. That's it, team. Come on. 10 more seconds. 10 more seconds to the end of the block. In three, two, and drop, 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 press, 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 press. Nice work, team. Jump on up, high fives, fist pumps, jump on up, grab some water, walk it all off, shake it out. I strongly encourage you to jump up and move. Try not to sit down. Shake the legs out as best you can. That's it. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Deep belly breath in. Exhale, relax. All right, that is the end of block one, okay? Block two, our next little bit, is what's called an EMOM block, which means every minute on the minute. The aim is to get through this next bit of work as quick as you can to get as much rest time as you can. So if it takes you 30 seconds to do the work, you get 30 seconds worth of rest. If it takes you 40 seconds, you get 20 seconds of rest, okay? Now, depending on how hard you want to push yourself, I'm going to give you some ranges for the next little bit, okay? So we have three exercises. We have a standard air squat, we have a standard push-up, and then we have shoulder taps, okay? Now, if you want to take it easy and kind of beginner levels, it's five repetitions of each. As quick as you can, then rest. More intermediate, want to push a little bit further, seven repetitions of each. But if you really want to go gung-ho and ham, it's 10 repetitions of each for more advanced, okay? So the three exercises for this next bit, and if you want to weight it, you absolutely can. You either have air squats, straight down, straight up, or goblet squats. So holding your backpack, your dumbbell, your plate, your partner, your cat, whatever you want to do, straight down, straight up. So whether it's 10, seven, or five, then we're going to come straight down to the floor, if you cannot do push-ups on the floor, you can absolutely do them up onto your couch or onto a bench should you wish. 
And with your push ups, I want normal ones. So your hands want to come out to the sides like an arrow. We don't want them up here like a T or super close triceps. So just out like an arrow to the side. So whether you're going to go onto your toes, straight up, straight down, or onto your knees, push either which way, that is totally fine. And lastly, we have shoulder taps. So you're going to come on down to the floor once again, either onto your toes or onto your knees, and you're going to lift one hand, tap the opposite shoulder. As you lift through, you're going to push one hand high into the ground as you change sides. With the shoulder taps though, left and right is one, okay? So you need to decide whether you're gonna go 10 of each, seven of each, or five of each. I will let you decide. Air squats, push-ups, shoulder taps. Thumbs up if that all makes sense, team. Very good, I'll give you another 30 seconds. Pick and choose whatever weights if you're going to, otherwise clear out your space. And we're all gonna start with our air squats. So I'm gonna go 10, 10, and 10 because my team members will give it to me if I don't. <laughs> All right, so whether you're going five, seven or 10, you decide. Everybody coming on up. Let's set our feet, starting with our squats. Let's do this in three. This is speed work team, two, one. And let's go, let's go, let's go, quick as you can. Air squats, push-ups, shoulder taps. As soon as it's done, you just rest straight away. As soon as you're done, you rest. That's it. Breathe out as you push up off that floor. And then you go straight into those shoulder taps. Team, that's 20 seconds. Tuck the pelvis, legs as wide as you need to the shoulder taps. Try not to rotate. That's it, team. Once you're done, jump up and breathe. You've got 30 seconds. That's one down. We've got six here. We can do this. As soon as you're done, breathe. That's it, 15 seconds. Once you've done your shoulder taps, jump straight on up and walk it off. That's one now. In through your nose, breathe. Out through your mouth, in five. We're going straight back to the top. Stay with me, you've got this. Three, two, and let's go again. 10 reps, straight down, straight up. Get those hips underneath, get that booty squeeze. Feel that booty burn. And straight on down to the floor with your push ups. That's it, knees or toes. Whatever you can do, stay with it and straight onto those shoulder taps. That's 30 seconds, team. That's it. Once you're done, rest, rest, rest. Force that oxygen in. You got 15 seconds, team. Breathe. Once you're done, rest, jump straight on up. 10 seconds, if you haven't done, stop and rest. In five, standing on up. Let's go, team, in three, two, and straight back to the top. Let's go, S squat. 10, seven, or five. If you need to drop the rounds, that's okay. The rep, sorry. Air squats, push ups, shoulder taps. Breathe out as you push yourself up off that floor. Strong hand positioning. Every rep with intention, team. Think about squeezing your butt, think about bracing your abs. 25 seconds. Force that oxygen in, keep moving. Don't give yourself a stitch. That's it, team, 10 seconds. We're over halfway through this block. Breathe, breathe. In five, 10, seven, or five. Let's go in three, two, and again, S lot. Push that floor away from you. Get those hips underneath, then straight on down to the floor, knees or toes. Always breathe out on the hard part of the movement. When you're standing up in the squat, when you're pushing yourself off the floor, 
Can you lift your hands for the shoulder taps? That's 30 seconds, team. That's it, 20 seconds. You're crushing it, you're doing so well. Pace yourself, team, with this, especially if this is your first session with me. Focus on your breathing. That's it, team, 10 seconds. Four down, two to go. You're doing so well. Let's go in five. Jump on up, deep breaths in. In three, two, and let's go, let's go, let's go. If you're working out with housemates or your partners together, encourage each other. You are a team. You're doing this. We're all in this together, but like actually all in this together. Come on. Straight on down to that floor. Push that floor away. That's it, get that chest squeeze. Straight into those shoulder taps. Doing what you can on your toes, then drop to your knees. That's it, come on birthday human Alex, let's get it. Come on Jack, breathe Oscar. Stay with me Joe. That's it Tanika, come on. That's it, 40, 15 seconds team. Breathe, jump it up, we've got one more here to go. Then you get a nice rest. That's it, Michael. Small sips of water. No one gas themselves. Five seconds. Three, two, and let's go. Last minute, last minute, last minute. Air squats, 10, 7, 5. Push ups, 10, 7, 5. Shoulder taps. That's it, team. Come on. Last ones. Let's make it count. Control the descent, explode out of the hole. That's 25 in. Get those shoulder taps. Finish it as best as you can. You can do this. Believe in yourself. Tell yourself that you can. That's it, Tim. Go on, 20 seconds. Finish it off. Once you're done, walk it off. Once you're done, walk it off and breathe. Deep belly breaths in, in through your nose, out through your mouth. That's it, team. Three, two, and time, 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 time. All right, team, two minutes rest. Jump up, grab some water, shake those legs out, breathe. We are finished with that block. You're crushing it. You're doing well. Try not to sit down. If you can, try and just move. If we stop all of a sudden, we can actually make ourselves feel a little bit sick. So just keep moving, shoveling that oxygen in, small sips of water. All right, once you've had a few mouthfuls, for this last part, it's gonna be all floor work. So if you need a mat for the floor, absolutely grab it, or if your carpet's fine, that's okay. All right, at best, you may just need something for underneath your knees. So, we have three exercises for this next part. It is 30 seconds, again, worth max reps, whatever you can do in that time, into 15 seconds rest interchange, okay? So there'll be a 15 second turnover between each exercise. So exercise one is what's called our plank up downs. So you can do this on your knees, or on your toes if you wanna make it a bit harder. Shoulders directly over wrists, Feet as wide as you need to for balance. All we're going to do is go down onto one elbow, other elbow, come up, come up, down, down, up, up. So you can do it on your knees to make it a bit easier if you need to. If for any reason that is too difficult, I'm more than happy for you to come down and just hold your standard plank on your toes or on your knees for the first one. All right, then we're going to roll on over. Exercise two, we're gonna sit up tall. This is called a V-sit hold. There's a few variations here. You can sit out with your legs out in front, toes up, hands up, and just lean back until you feel your core switch on. We don't wanna be hunched. We want our chest up nice and proud, point the hands. The further you lean back, the harder it is. And if you wanna challenge yourself further, lift your feet and hold, okay? But it is not a necessity. So that's one, exercise one, 
plank up down exercise two is a v-sit hold and then exercise three we lie on our back it's called a flutter kick elbows into the floor Ex whoop, no siri extend your feet chin to chest and it's a very small slow movement if you can't keep your hand to next to the side of you keep them slowly underneath your butt as best you can now with this the fatigue will start to set in quite quickly if you feel you need a rest whenever you stop just count back three two one jump straight back in do a couple more three two one and just rest pause your whole way through okay so plank up downs v sit hold flutter kicks team thumbs up if that all makes sense very good give you another 30 seconds let's clear our space out make sure we're not going to knock into each other we've all got some spots on the floor i'm just going to tilt my camera a bit for the floor work again and we're all going to start on our deck all right team we've got three rounds back to back let's do this coming on down to the floor get ready for our plank up downs in five let's go team in three two and let's go, let's go, let's go, elbow, elbow, hand, hand. Breathe in as you come down. Breathe out as you push up. Take your legs as wide as you need to. Try not to move too much rotation through the hips. Squeeze your butt, push your belly button out through your back. Go on your nose when you can't anymore. Three, two, and drop, 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 drop. Rolling on over. Get ready for your V-sit hold in 10. Sitting up tall, legs out in front. Five seconds, set your feet, chest up, point the hands. Three, two, leaning back, and let's go, hold. Forcing it in through your nose. Chest nice and proud, eyes up forward. Squeeze your shoulder blades back together. 15 seconds. Breathe, breathe. You're doing so well, team. I'm so glad you're all here joining me today. Three, two, and drop, 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 drop. Rest, 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 rest. Lying on your back. Come down onto your back. That's it, team, in five. Doing the best we can, hands under our butts. Three, two, extend the legs and small flutter kicks. Doesn't matter how many you do, team, don't count the reps, just make them count. Do the best you can. Keep breathing, keep breathing at a halfway. That's it, come on, stay with me. 10 seconds, chin to chest, flat back on the floor. Three, two, and drop. Rest, 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 rest. Roll over, roll over, roll over. That's one down. Going back to our plank up downs in 10 seconds. Deep belly breaths in five. Come on, Coach Jack, stay with me. Let's go in three, two, and up we go. Plank up downs. That's it, starting on your toes and dropping to your knees if you need to, but push through. You've got it. Tell yourself you can do this. You're all capable of so much more than you realize. 10 seconds, team, 10 seconds. Come on, just another rep out, just another rep out. Three, two, and drop. Rest, 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 rest. Deep belly breaths, force that oxygen back in. That's it, rolling on over. V sit, hold in five. Let's do this team in three, two, and extend and hold. Leaning on back, chest up. If you again want to make it harder and your feet is up, you can lift your hands and extend your feet. Come on, you're over halfway. Abs tight. Force that oxygen in. Pull your shoulder blades back. Five. In two, one, and drop, 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 drop. That's it. Four set air in, lodge just lie straight back down. Go into our flutter kicks in 10 seconds. 
Just stay with me. You're doing so well, team. In three, two, and let's go. Flight of kicks. If you can't do the up and down kicks, just try and hold it. Ah. Oh, my abs. Halfway through. That's it, all the way to the end. Come on. Lift that breathing up. You got this. All the way to the end. Three, two, and drop, 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 drop. Ah, roll them over. One more round to finish. One more round to finish. You can do this, team. Stay with me. In five, starting to get at the top. In three, two, and let's go, let's go, let's go. Plank up downs. We're going to leave everything left in the tank, team. This is your last one of each of these exercises. We're doing the best that we can. We're not taking no for an answer. That's it. Come on. Hope those tunes are pumping in the background. 10 seconds. Breathe. Breathe in three, two, and drop to those knees. Drop to those knees. That's it. 15 seconds. Roll it over. Legs as wide as you need to for hip balance and comfort. In five, this is it, team. Rolling back in three. Set those hands, chest up two, and lean back, hold. Exaggerate that breathing. Fill up that belly. Open that chest. Point those arms. At the halfway. Squeeze your glutes. Push your belly button out through your back. In five, stay with me. Two, one, drop, 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 drop. Roll them back on the floor. Roll them back on the floor. You're putting in some hectic effort, team. I'm so proud of you. Let's do this in five. Last bit of 30 seconds of work. Three, two, and let's go, let's go, let's go. In three nose, out three mouth. Come on, toes pointing to the roof. Ah, oof, you're over halfway. Chin to chest. Breathe. Come on, stay with it. We're almost there. In five, three, two, and drop, 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 drop. Rest, 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 rest. Stay on your back, stay on your back. Just stay on your back and breathe. Just stay on your back and breathe. Take your feet a bit wider than your hips. Let your arms fall wherever they want to. Force that oxygen in. Then slowly, when you're ready, start windscreen wipering your knees from side to side. Just falling on on the screen if we're not sure what that means. Keep your feet stuck to the floor. But just roll the knees from side to side, both at the same time. Get a bit of a lower back release. All while focusing on bringing that heart rate back down. That's it. From side to side, nice and gentle. That's it. Then slowly, slowly rolling over back onto your hands and knees, just like our warm up that's come into our cat camel. So we're gonna go shoulders over wrists, hips over knees, arching our back up like a cat, get that stretch. Exhale, lung goes back, head goes up, exhale. Deep belly breath in. Exhale, relax. That's it. One more, inhale, push that core away. Exhale, relax. Then from here, let's bring our right foot up to our right hand. Let's get into a, a flexor stretch. So you're gonna tuck the pelvis. You're going to have one hand if you need to, tuck the pelvis first, then get that forward lean. You want to feel it all on this back leg. And if you want to take it further, arms can come out the front and we can twist over the front bent leg. Twist the torso, look over that right shoulder, feel that pull a bit more. If you need to pull it back with the arms off, that's okay. That's it. And slowly bring the arms back to the middle, push the hips back, spike the front heel, 
Just lean forward with the hamstring stretch. If you need to put your hand on the floor, that's okay, or hold on to something. Just actively point the toes back towards your face. And just that three, three and a half out of five, breathe. And slowly bend the knee. Let's start the sequence again on the other side. Start with the flexor first, tuck the pelvis, then get the lean. Team, I'll be doing these sessions every week until gyms pretty much reopen. We'll be doing different ones at different times. So make sure you check out through the groups or the TJ Insta to make sure that you've got the right times. That's it, get that stretch hand. If you wanna take that rotation, you can. My right side's not letting me do it much today. You can go the way you can. And slowly roll, come back, spike the heel, toe back to the face, get that hammy stretch, hands to the floor only if you need. You can reach your hand towards the toe. Depends on if you're more mobile than I am, which I hope most of you are. That's it, team. And slowly bend the hammies, hands and both legs to the floor. This time, take your hands just a bit wider, and we're going to go side to side. So we're going to drop one shoulder to the floor, lean, look away, get that chest and shoulder stretch for three, two, and slowly come on up and change sides. In three, two, and up. That's it. Get that stretch. Couple each side. And slowly rolling on back, slowly coming on up. Team, you've crushed it. I hope you're feeling a bit more accomplished after that, as well as a bit sweaty. So definitely have lots of water. I'm going to encourage you to try and get up and go for a walk today. It will help with any potential soreness. And please try and get some stretching in over the weekend. Otherwise, I hope you have an amazing Saturday. I hope to see you all again next week. Otherwise, have an amazing weekend and feel free to send me a DM if you've got any questions at all. Just like this week, I'll post the workout again during the week and as well as the time. Um, otherwise, have an amazing day and thanks for coming to the session. See you later, team. Have a great Saturday. Thanks. Thank you. See you later.